What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're 38 days away from Madden 23 officially dropping. But today's video, we have the final drop for Madden 22. You guys see it from the thumbnail and from the title. We have the final drop for Ultimate Legends dropping. Let me know down below, are you guys still playing Madden 22? Yes or no? I'm not gonna lie to you guys, in the month of July, that's when I take a mental break from playing Madden, especially this year, Madden 22. This game this year got so fluky and it was just so bad in my personal opinion. I gotta take that break. Let me know down below. And don't forget, if you guys are trying to stay updated, the only thing Madden related, especially 23 news, now that we got confirmed rankings are coming soon, make sure you guys follow the channel. Don't forget to follow my socials. Don't forget to show this video some love. Let's jump into it. So I'll be going over the three Ultra Legends real quick, just because right now the game is dead and we're in our final month for Madden 22 year. All I gotta say is about damn time this game is coming to an end, just because this year, defense was so bad and the skill gap was so close that anybody could pick up the sticks and anybody could be in the hell game with you. Right above, he's playing for the Steelers and the Seahawks, Franco Harris. Let me know down below where you guys be picked up any players in this video. I'm not going to lie to you guys. By the time Weekend League starts to the time it ends, that's just in general when I play a lot of Madden. But now that last week, you know, Weekend League is officially over, I'm off the game. I am doing... Maybe a separate video on selling off all the players trying to get all the rookie premieres. But with that being said, are you guys still playing the game? And have you guys collected all 15 rookie premieres? Let me know down below. Franco Harris, yeah, he does have two stock in abilities. One is zero AP, which is I believe the tip drill, and tank, which is one AP. I've never used the ability tank, and I've never really ever bought a fullback, to be honest with you guys. I never invest into a fullback. Because I never run the ball. It's very rare, especially this year in the red zone. The best thing about him is definitely the speed, the run blocking, and the lead blocking. And I believe the intentional blocking. I don't know. He's a really good fullback. The best fullback you guys could be getting at this point in a dead game in Mad 22. But my personal opinion for this to be the final LTD, I don't know. I feel like this is a big L. I'd rather have a big, you know, position player, wide receiver, defensive back. Maybe strong safety or even a linebacker. I would rather have a linebacker over a fullback. Let me know your choice down below. And our next player dropping tomorrow is a key to leave. Is it just me? But each time I think about a key, I think about all the fights he was having in the NFL, especially against Michael Crabtree. I don't know, man. In baseball, in sports, sometimes I don't mind seeing a couple of players going at it and just fighting. Just just to fight. So why not? But overall, right above his play for the Patriots, the Buccaneers. Broncos and the Rams. It's an end game card. It's a dead game right now in Madden 22. But hey, he's a great addition if you guys are still playing. Let's say you guys are still playing. Keep your reads, you know, on time and keep all your adjustments, you know, all the rhythm and everything just on time. This would be a good player to pick up. 98 speed, 99 man coverage, 99 zone coverage, and 99 press. By far, this card would have been so good if it got dropped months ago and Thinking about it now, I wouldn't mind seeing him getting a golden ticket next year, considering now that this year is over. But a key to lead, by far one of the best cards dropping, just in general, for Ultimate Legend. Third and last player dropping tomorrow is Reggie Wayne. I mean, right above, he's played for the Colts. And if you guys don't know, I am currently living in Indy. So this guy around here, he's a legend, a well-deserved legend, just because he's a, he was one of the best players that played for the Colts, in Indianapolis Colts. But he does have 98 speed, so 98 short route running, 99 mean route running, 98 deep route running. The rest of stats is really good, you know, good catching, good catching traffic. Not to mention he's a route runner. A really good player, especially if you guys are still making an end game team. I'm not sure about you guys, but each time I play, you know, every year I play Madden 22 or Madden just in general. I always like ending the year with like a God Squad. All the players are either 98 or 99 overalls and they're always the best players. Or some of the popular ones so i don't know maybe that's just me doing that but if you guys are trying to complete a full theme team for the colts highly suggest to pick up reggie wayne so with that being said let me know your thoughts down below on the three ultimate legends dropping tomorrow it is the final drop and i know a lot of people aren't playing mad 22 just because the month of july the game is dead we get no content and just in general we're all ready for the next year or the next up and coming madden so let me know down below are you guys still playing it yes or no i haven't played 22 since the past weekend league which was the final weekend league like i said earlier once weekend league ends i personally stopped playing the game just because i'm done with the game I, th especially this year knowing how unlucky i've seen 
myself and so many other players playing i feel like we're all ready for our next game and just just from playing the beta i can tell you this right now there will be a skill gap in madden 23 hopefully you know pass rushing gets nerfed a little bit but at the end of the day the only thing i ask for is for a game that has good servers good defense so there's a skill gap right just overall a good game nothing op so no you know bo knows or bo jackson running right past my defense take that out of the game take all the op stuff out of the game or make it really really hard to get and before we end this video i highly recommend for everybody to please listen to me as an investor in madden especially right now make sure you guys get as many rookie premier tokens as possible especially if you guys plan on playing next year for mutt i'm telling you guys it's gonna be worth it trust me when i say it you guys want to get as many as you can if you guys are still missing the 15 one hopefully you guys get the 15 but remember there are 15 tokens to collect so try to collect all of them hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget if you guys are trying to stay updated especially in the upcoming weeks we'll be getting more and more news on Mad 23 make sure you guys follow the channel don't forget to follow my socials don't forget to show this video some love leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys on the next one